In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to manage user accounts and licenses in Microsoft 365. As an enterprise administrator of your organization's Microsoft 365 environment, you are responsible for creating and managing user accounts for your users. So before I help you understand how you do that, the first thing what we are going to learn is to determine the user identity model for your organization. First, we need to understand the different user identities in Microsoft 365 identity model. An organization can choose to either manage all their identities in Microsoft 365 or they can use their on-prem Active Directory or domain services to manage their identities. So let's learn these three different types of identity models. The first type is Cloud Identities. A cloud identity is a user account that only exists in Azure AD. So if I go back to my Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you can see different types of identities here. To have a better view, I can go to Azure Portal. So in Azure Portal, you can go to Azure Active Directories, click on Users. Here, you can see the type and there is something called Directory Synchronized. If the directory synchronized is no, that means these users are managed in the cloud or they are born in the cloud. So you can simply click on new user here or within this Microsoft 365 portal, you can click on add a user. This will create a unique user within your Microsoft 365 tenant. If you create a user account with the same name as an on-prem Active Directory user account, there won't be any link between these two user accounts. They would be considered as two different unique identities, each with their own password. So you know that now you can either create these user identities either in Microsoft 365 Admin Center or you can go to the Azure portal and you can create a user identity here as well. The second type is synchronized identities. A synchronized identity is a user that exists in an on-premises Active Directory domain services and in Microsoft 365. The ADDS user and the Microsoft 365 user are synchronized and linked together. So any changes that you make to this on-prem user accounts are synchronized to Microsoft 365 user account. The tool which you can use to do that is known as Azure Active Directory Connect or Azure AD Connect. That tool does the synchronization once an organization downloads and install it in its on-premises environment. So Azure AD Connect filters the account that are synchronized and determines whether to synchronize the password or not. So we will learn about this Azure AD Connect in detail in the upcoming session. The last one is federated identities. A federated identity is a synchronized user account that is authenticated by lightweight directory access protocol on ADDS. This authentication process creates a local claims provided trust with Active Directory Federation services. So this federation is super complicated to install and deploy and maintain. So you would only do it if you feel like that is really necessary. So if you're wondering which one is the best fit, there is no perfect answer for that. A cloud identities are best for small to medium sized organization or organizations that don't need a local Active Directory domain services. And synchronized identities are best for organizations running Active Directory already and are planning to move to the cloud. Federated identities are best for organizations that want to centralize their authentication and authorization processes. Now let's look at the benefits. The best benefit for cloud identity is it is simple to use, no extra tools required. The benefit of synchronized identity is you get same sign-in and where management of identities is only required in one place. And the benefit of Federated identity is you get single sign-on and 
where management of identity is only required in one place. Now let's look at how you can create a user account in Microsoft 365. So depending on an organizational need, you can either use Microsoft 365 Admin Center or you can import multiple users or use Windows PowerShell or directory synchronization. So we are going to see some example of that. Microsoft 365 Admin Center is a simple web interface that you can use to create and manage these users. The second option provides a method for bulk importation of multiple users into the Microsoft 365 Admin Centers through CSV file. Third option is Windows Firewall. This is a commandlet based and script based interface can be used to create and manage single and multiple users. And the last one is directory synchronization. This option requires an organization to provision and manage users by synchronizing Microsoft 365 with an on-premises directory services such as Active Directory. So first let's go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center and create or learn how to manage or create these user accounts. So go back to your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Under Users, click on Active Users. And on top of the page, click on Add a User. This open another snap-in, provides you details about how you want to create this user. Just provide these basic details. I'm going to call it as Test User. Under Display Name, I'm going to put Test User MS100. Username, I'm going to give MS100 test user. Under domain, you have two options. I have already verified this domain with a domain name, agtc.ga, or you can select the default as well. So I'm going to select the verified domain. When you create it, you can automatically create a password. This requires that user need to change it when they try to log in the first time. I'm unchecking that. And let's create a password for the user. And I'm going to uncheck the require this user to change the password. Click next. The next option give you an ability to choose the region of the user. So I can keep it at US itself. And you have an ability to add licenses or assign licenses to this user. Or if you don't want to assign any licenses, you can click on create this user without any product license as well. After that, click next. If you do want to give any sort of administrative user access for this user to manage any of these tasks, you can provide that as well. So I'm going to simply create this user, assign few licenses, no admin access required and click next. Oh, before that, you have an ability to add more profile information like which department or what's the job title, location, street, address and all other details for this user. So click next and click on finish adding and click close. So that's how you create a user account using Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So if I go and search for this user MS100, you would be able to see that user and you can click on licenses and apps to see the assigned licenses. Next, let me quickly show you how you can create user with import multiple user option. So let's go back to the home page, click on users, go to active users this time instead of add user click on add multiple users so here you would be able to provide multiple users detail all at once and hit next or you can click on i like to upload a csv with user information that gets you download either a blank csv file with just the header or with an example user information i downloaded that now so let's quickly open that file and see how it looks like. A sample file looks like this. So when you provide these details, you have to provide the details of username, first name, last name, display name, job title, and most of these fields are optional, but you definitely have to fill in details like first name, last name, and the country and the region. And after filling those details, you can simply click on upload the CSV file and upload it. So all of the user details you populated within that CSV file will be able to upload it immediately. The next option is to create the user with Windows PowerShell. So you can use the PowerShell utility or you can use this Cloud Shell. 
so let's cancel this on your home page right hand top bar you can see this icon this is called cloud shell so to use that you need to create a storage account because i have an azure subscription i am gonna use it so click on create a storage account in your case you can simply use the powershell which comes by default in your windows devices or you can download it and you can use that so this gives you an ability to run the powershell within the browser itself so if you don't have access to the installed version of powershell on your local machine you can always use these powershell modules cloud shell to connect to your environment and run the command the next step is to manage user account settings in microsoft 365 so to do that again we are going to the microsoft 365 admin center so go back to the user tab click on active users and select a particular user here you would be able to modify account details if you want you can see details like when is this user signed in last if you want to assign extra roles for this user click on manage roles this gives you an ability to add different admin roles for this user as an administrator you would be able to reset the password for the user if it is blocked also you can unblock it <coughs> devices tab will show the number of devices which is enrolled to microsoft intune for this particular user licenses and application tab will give you an ability to change the location of the user assign and unassign licenses the mailing tab will give you an ability to modify mailbox permissions email forwarding automatic replies and email apps and in the onedrive tab you can obtain access to the users files view storage coder and force sign out from all microsoft 365 sessions the next is learning how to manage user licenses in microsoft 365 so i have shown you multiple ways you can manage it so one of the key important details you need to understand is when a license is removed from a user any service data that associate with that user is deleted and you have a 30 day grace period in which you can recover that data but after the grace period the data isn't recoverable and as an administrator it is very important for you to know about how to recover deleted user accounts in microsoft 365 when the user leave an organization their microsoft 365 user accounts are no longer required so to ensure the security of its systems an organization must delete these accounts so these users can no longer access the organization's microsoft 365 tenant when a user account is deleted the assigned microsoft 365 license for that user becomes available for you to allocate to anyone else so let me quickly show you where you can delete and restore this user account so in the admin center just pick a user and click on this ellipsis and click on delete a user this gives you an ability to delete this user account so as you can see that this user account is deleted like i said so when you when a user account is deleted the account becomes inactive and the user can't log in or sign in to access microsoft 365 services to recover a deleted user account you have to go back to users under users click on deleted users and select a user and click on restore user you need to enable either auto generated password or you have to fix a password all by yourself so i'm going to click on auto generated password and click on restore all right and because it's a new password you can send the new password in an email if you want to do so i'm going to click close all right that concluded this lesson in the next lesson we are going to learn about managing groups in microsoft 365 i will see you on the next one until then take care